Intermittent fasting is a dietary approach that has increased in popularity in recent years, both for those practicing and those researching. The idea of intermittent fasting and its synergy with the ketogenic diet has sparked quite a bit of conversation here in the comments of the Consider This channel, which is why I'd like to provide a breakdown of how intermittent fasting works well with the ketogenic diet. First, let's determine exactly what is meant by the term intermittent fasting. This doesn't really denote a specific duration of feeding restriction, although the majority of studies done have implemented similar strategies for time-restricted feeding. Simply put, the window of nutritional intake is restricted to between the hours of 1 p.m. and 8 p.m., providing an 8-hour window of potential intake and a 16-hour window of fasting each day. Now, how might this correlate with a ketogenic diet? Well, there's a few ways. For one, elevating our blood concentration of ketone bodies is a solid biomarker on how stable our state of nutritional ketosis is. This is a representation of our metabolism adapting to burning fat for energy rather than carbohydrates, and as we see our blood ketone levels rise, specifically beta-hydroxybutyrate, we can make a strong correlation to the amount of fat we're burning. Generally, when testing blood ketone levels, we notice a relatively high amount in the morning when we wake before any dietary intake. This is due to the fact that even on a strict ketogenic diet, we can't help but consume a small number of carbohydrates in each meal, and therefore have a slight postprandial or post-meal insulin response, which hinders ketone production. But when we go the standard eight or so hours through the night without food intake, we are passively burning calories with no insulin spikes leading to higher amounts of ketone production and more fat being burned. Really, every night we are performing a small intermittent fast, which is ended by the aptly named meal breakfast or break fast. When we choose to prolong this fast into the day, we have the opportunity to use the same heightened ketone producing fat burning mechanism to create energy to fuel our activity rather than just our autonomic functions during sleep. This in turn increases our metabolism even further. This is why if blood ketone levels were measured at 1 p.m. after fasting through the morning, they would be exponentially higher than if we were to measure at the same time after eating breakfast and lunch. Higher blood ketone levels have also shown to improve brain function, mental clarity, and protect the body from oxidative stress on a cellular level. Another benefit time-restricted eating unlocks is a heightened opportunity to dip into our body fat stores rather than consistently burning the fat fuel we are consuming through dietary intake. We can mobilize visceral fat, which is the fat surrounding internal organs, and subcutaneous fat, the fat under the skin that is more noticeable, to lose weight, prevent disease, and improve overall health and wellness. For more detailed information about intermittent fasting, check out other videos on this channel where I break down the science of how our bodies react to fasting. Feel free to ask questions in the comments below, and if you have any recommendations for future videos, let me know. Until next time, keep going against the grain.